Thank you for choosing Collaborins as your educational resource. My name is Dr. Kevin Jardine and I'm going to take you through explaining some of the mechanisms and principles of application for kinesiology taping. We've identified three main categories of action for which kinesiology taping can have an enhancing effect on treating your patients. The first category would be microcirculatory. A microcirculatory effect is where you're using the tape to try to improve swelling, edema, or bruising. The tape can be effectively applied for things ranging from lymphedema to sprained ankles. The second category, and the more traditional category that people think about with tape, is structural applications. Structural applications are where you're thinking more about positions. So if I wanted to use tape to correct positions and postures, the tape would be an extension of my hands to do that. It helps to prevent potentially harmful ranges of motion from occurring. Those are structural applications. The third category is neurosensory applications and is really the most important category for which kinesiology taping can be applied. Neurosensory applications are where you apply the tape so that it doesn't impede any range of motion, allows for full freedom of movement, and that the tape stimulating the contact surface of the skin is activating sensory gating mechanisms to help reduce discomfort experienced by the patient and also improve and normalize muscle activation and control. Each of those three categories has a very specific way that you apply the tape. So in order to achieve microcirculatory effects, you do a microcirculatory application. In order to achieve structural effects, you do a structural application. And if you want to achieve neurosensory effects, you do a neurosensory application. I'm going to demonstrate each one of those here for you now. Let's start with a neurosensory application using a pre-cut X. We start by tearing the perforations along the black lines. We determine where we want to apply the tape. So for all three of these examples, we're going to use the anterior arm. Now clinically, when I'm using a neurosensory application, I'm thinking that I want to reduce the discomfort that my patient is feeling, and I want to normalize muscle activation and muscle tone. So the principles for applying neurosensory applications are that I'm going to be stretching the tissue and not the tape. Even though the tape is flexible, I'm going to not stretch it when I apply it to the skin. So for example, if we had a strain within the bicep, I would take the backing, remove the tape to expose the adhesive, then I would place it over top of the area that I want the tape to be applied to. In this case, we're talking about the bicep area. I would apply that first portion without any stretch in the arm in just a comfortable and relaxed position. Then I want to stretch the tissue underneath the tape within the patient's pain-free range of motion. From there, I start to remove the backing of the tape, relieve any stretch or tension on the tape, and gently lay it down in contact with the skin, waiting till about 90% is applied, and then remove the backing completely. I rub over top of each section before moving on to the next one. I proceed to do that for all four projections on whatever area I was applying this. And once again, neurosensory applications are where I'm stretching the tissue and not the tape. So I'm relieving any tension on the tape and laying it down in contact with the skin. Peel the backing off, lay the tape down in contact with the skin, Wait till about 90% is applied and then rub over top of the tape to activate the glue. That would be an example of a neurosensory application. Now to gently remove that, 
I'm going to once again put the arm in a lengthened position. I'm going to stretch the skin underneath the tape and I'm going to peel the tape back always moving the skin in the opposite direction for which I'm removing the tape. And now I will demonstrate a structural application. And a structural application, once again, is where I want to prevent potentially harmful ranges of motion from occurring anywhere within the body, and I want to improve positions or postures. And for a structural application, the technique is opposite the neurosensory application. As we just saw with a neurosensory application, I stretched the tissue and not the tape. For a structural application, we're going to be stretching the tape and not the tissue. So using the arm once again as an example, if we're dealing with some type of strain to the joint, and we want to prevent the arm from fully extending, then we would have them in a relaxed position. We would take the tape, tear along the perforations. I could be using a cut piece of roll for this application or a pre-cut X. I remove the backing completely. I place it over top of the area, laying the tape down in contact with the skin. Rub over top of the tape without any stretch and activate the glue. From there, I now shorten the muscle structure, have the patient hold it in that position, or I get some sort of support to hold it there, but I'm shortening the tissues underneath the tape and from here, I am stretching the tape, then applying it to the skin. Then rub over top of the tape. With structural applications, never stretch the last inch or so of the tape. Stretch the tape, apply it to the skin, leaving the last portion with no stretch. How much stretch you use is really dependent on your clinical objectives. The shorter you make the tissue structure, the less stretch you need to put on the tape. The less of an angle, the more stretch you would need. But you determine the amount of stretch that you put in the tape depending on your clinical objectives you're trying to obtain. Once again, stretch the tape, apply it to the skin, and leave the last portion about an inch with no stretch. From there, we let the arm straighten out and we remove the final portion of the tape. For any of the structural applications, always leave the final portions with no stretch on the tape. So now when the patient ends up bending their arm, as they start to straighten their arm out, they'll feel tension pick up on the tape, which is keeping them from going into full extension and giving them that kinesthetic awareness to help protect the injured area. We'll remove this application and we will show you the final category of application, microcirculatory. For a microcirculatory application, our goals, once again, are to treat any type of swelling, a bruising, an edema, and lymphedema. With microcirculatory applications, you use a very specialized application. In this case, it's a pre-cut lymphatic application, or you can take a roll and have to cut individually the pieces. In this case, we're using a pre-cut application small enough to cover the arm and in our clinical scenario here if we had a nice big bruise we would take this application tear along the perforations place the first portion or the base of the tape just above the bruised area 
Lay the tape down in contact with the skin and rub over top of the tape. With microcirculatory applications, the principles to how you apply it are that you elongate the tissue within a pain-free range of motion and then starting from the center and working out as you peel the backing off the tape there's a little bit of stretch in the tape so as you peel the backing the tension that's in the tape you bring your finger behind and lay the tape down in contact with the skin waiting till about 90 percent of the tape is applied and then remove the backing if my patient was unable to go through that range at all then i would just keep them in a comfortable position Peel the backing, have tension pulling the backing off the tape, then come behind and lay the tape down in contact with the skin, leaving a little bit of space in between each projection. Wait till 90% of the tape is applied, remove the backing and then rub over top. Have that little bit of a tug on the tape, Lay it down in contact with the skin, remove the backing, and rub over top. This would demonstrate a microcirculatory application for the upper arm. We can do this anywhere throughout the body that you have any type of swelling, bruising, or edema.